Welcome to a new edition of the Neon Jazz Interview Series with Southern California jazz pianist and composer Danny Green. He opened up with Neon Jazz about his latest 2018 CD, One Day It Will. This is an album featuring bassist Justin Grinnell and drummer Julian Cantelm. And this trio nails it again with another solid recording together, and Danny opens up about it. So please dig it and dig this interview, my friends. Well, hey, Danny, it's great to catch back up with you. Thank you for taking a minute out for Neon Jazz. I appreciate it. Oh, for sure. Thank you. So let's go ahead and talk about your latest album, One Day It Will. And again, it's with your trio. It's another great album. Talk to me about what went into this album and how it came into being. The last album, Altered Narratives, included three tracks which had string quartet on them, and that was the beginning of something new for me. Um, and uh, once we started performing the music live, I felt like I had to have more than three songs to make it worthwhile to hire a string quartet. So um, I continued arranging music for strings and for my trio. And uh, eventually ended up with enough songs for a full-length CD. Um, and then basically just felt like I really wanted to document that work. And that is how this album came to be. You're with Justin and Julian on this. What is it about your chemistry that works so well? I think it's a number of things. Musically, uh, just the fact that we've been playing together since 2010, uh, means that uh, it's just natural for us to have a lot of uh, chemistry when we play. Um, we all kind of have a sense of where we're going. And then be, beyond the chemistry and history, I think we all have our own interest in music, but there's a lot of intersection between those interests. And so to a large extent, we're on the same page about a lot of things. And then the last aspect of it is that we're just all, all really good friends and we enjoy hanging out and so I think uh, when we play music together it's just another way that we communicate with each other and it, you know, it's just as joyful or even more. So do you see this album as another evolution as a trio of you guys coming together and putting something new out there? Do you view that as an evolution? You're you know, you're the, the mark you're making in music together? Uh, you know, I think Altered Narratives started... Uh, I, I'd say this is kind of like a continuation of what we started with Altered Narratives, and maybe uh, we're taking things further down that path. Um, just to elaborate on that, um, before Altered Narratives, I think we, we were playing a lot of really complicated... Um, complicated compositions, like very noty heads and, uh, like, uh, just, uh, not, not, not a lot of space, really. There, <laughs> just a lot of fast stuff. And, and I, I felt, you know, it was a lot of fun, uh, playing that music, but I felt like I wanted to have tunes where I could feel better about improvising and just kind of opening it up and, and letting more stuff organically happen. And so I think Altered Narratives was the beginning of uh, where I started feeling that way. And I think this new album really takes it another step forward. When we recorded it, it really felt like much easier to record than previous albums just because there was all that space to just improvise and let things happen. So what do you want the listener to get out of this album? How do you want them to feel about their experience with this album? Uh, well, hopefully they, they will like it um, and, uh, you know, have some sort of emotional connection to the music. It seems to me like as we step more into this realm of uh, music with strings, that there's some people that, like, love it and, you know, really, really enjoy this direction that we're going in. And, and for other people, um, it's not their thing. So it... But like previous albums that I've done seem more uh, accessible to a larger group of people. And, and, and this one's kind of gone more in a single direction that the people that like it really like it a lot. And for some people, uh, you know, they're just generally turned off by the idea of strings. But my hope is that, that people don't just hear that it's an album with strings and just think it's a bunch of lush, 
strings in the background that are just kind of providing pads because to me, I think the strings really serve the music and, and I try to put them in the forefront quite a bit. Well, Danny, hey, thank you for opening up about the new album. Thank you for taking a minute out for Neon Jazz. I'm looking forward to profiling on the show. Thank you, yeah. It's a pleasure. Thanks for listening and tuning in to yet another Neon Jazz interview, where we give you a bit of insight into the finest players in San Diego, Kansas City, and spots all over the world giving fans all that jazz. And thanks to Danny for his time, his music, and his stories. If you want to hear more interviews, go to Famous Interviews with Joe Domino on the iTunes Store. Visit Neon Jazz at YouTube.com. And for everything Neon Jazz, go to the neonjazz.blogspot.com. Until next time, enjoy the jazz, my friends. Neon Jazz.